So again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a pale green chalk spiral I drew in the inside of a 14 by 14 inch canvas and covered my edges with some Meaden black paint which is almost dry even five minutes later because it, it covers so well that you can spread it very thin. <clears throat> so I'm trying to figure out right now how next to proceed and I want a black line around the inside of my colors so I'm going to split the difference between what I've got and knowing where I want to add my colors and I think that can be knocked out and a little bit of that can be knocked out so I'm going to grab to start with an OXO omelette turning spatula. I don't know how this is going to work without very much wet paint, but I have a weird plan that involves my new little tools that are just basically tabs of acetate, like my edge catchers. And they're cut. Here, I'll show you one. Here's a big one. <laughs> I don't know if I'll use that today or not, but instead of this big square at the back, I just cut a little tiny tab when I, well, I did not on that one, but here we go. There's a little one. A little tiny hoe. And uh, those are swipe tools. And that little tiny tab at the back is taped on with some clear duct tape. So I've got the colors I like. And I made a spiral or two even when I started doing this in 2018. And I really like them. And I think one of them didn't get finished. The video stopped short. And I'm not sure about the other one because I need to watch it again. Either way, I want to attempt to swipe in the colors. And it just occurred to me that the best swipe tool I've got right now to make a, a skinny black line wider is my finger. I don't even know if that's that black line will still be there when I'm done with this. But it's there now and that spatula is going in the bucket. So I am going to just put down the colors I like and then I will pull the swipe tool through in the patterns that I want. That's my plan. <laughs> and I'm. I think I'm sticking to it. We'll see. That's the, um, that's a color shifting. That's a purple flash from Folk Art. This is an electric blue from Arteza. It's a, a metallic. I don't know how any of this is going to work. This is, oh, this is my green gold from Folk Art also. It's a color shift. Trying to pick places. I'm just going to keep putting colors down. This is a color shifting turquoise. Until I feel like I have enough colors so that if I pull through them, I'll get a desired effect. And I may be pulling through any which way, but I'm planning on pulling out. We'll see what happens. I have some Venetian blue, which I'm very eager to use, which I didn't have at the time and I thought would have looked great. I really don't think it matters if I put things down in a particular pattern or not, just so long as I have enough paint. I might put some white metallic from Anita's in here, just because it would be nice. I'm also contemplating, yes, gold, some 24 karat gold from Decor de Americana. That's coming soon. Because I definitely want to have enough paint. I also have amethyst purple from Artist Loft and it's a metallic. It's a cool painting right now. I like it. I want some of my do I dare use the, just the water stuff? This is 
a prison pour. It's my hot orchid. Anybody who watches me regularly knows I'm completely addicted to this. This particular mixture is just hot orchid with water. Now it's a good thing it's not too hot because I really don't want any of these colors to dry. Still got to get the gold in there. I'm thinking about using some of the very pale pink that I have. It's mostly Anita's white metallic. I don't know if I want a lot of it, but I kind of expect it to disappear, be swallowed by the other colors. So mostly what I really think is that it's going to be if it shows at all, it's just going to be a highlight. So I was talking about the white metallic, and there it is. But I want the gold more than I want the white metallic. So let's grab the gold. And it's open, yes. And maybe I'm just going to go... And then I'll check afterwards see if there are any places that I really like to have more of anything. And I think I want some turquoise right down here. I didn't use any of my turquoise with the iridescent pearl fine mixed into it that I that's from Golden. And that is a nice dark turquoise and I think that might be something I want more of. So wherever I put a vast majority of a color, we're going to have that color dominate, I hope. So let's just go for this. Oh, yeah, those are the tools I was talking about. There's, they're all in that little box. Well, no, they're not all because I keep making more. Um, but I'm going to put some of my black Amsterdam black that has pre-stained wood conditioner, whoops, from Minwax added to it. I mixed up two ounces of paint and added ten drops. Oh, this is being the same problem child it was yesterday. There's something caught in my tip. And anyway, let's see which tool I want to start with. I think the littlest one is where I want to start right now. I have lots. But I want to go I'd like to actually think that I can make a pattern with this tool. I guess I need a scrape dish. I never put any white in there. Let's just fill in with a little here and there. I'm not sure there's enough green gold in there either. So I'm going to go back and grab some more black. Seems to me I had to go one forward before coming one back. And I kind of want to take that center right now. add a spiral to it. I'm just, I think I'm just going to wipe my little tool off on my finger. And I'm going to use my little tool until it doesn't seem like a good idea anymore. i got to remember, skip one ahead and go back and fill in with another. That's kind of working exactly as I was hoping it was going to. I'm getting great cells. I really, I really think the gold was very necessary, and I'm not sure, but I think the white is also. So I'll just add some more white. Might be more paint than I know I'm, know what to do with. One step ahead, and back again. One step ahead, and back again. One ahead back again. Yep, 
Yeah. Well, I'm just learning. So the fact that there's more paint than I need just means it's going to be very cool. On ahead. Go back and get some paint. Some cell activator. Wipe off my tool. I'm just putting that much cell activator. I'm going to leap ahead. And go back again. That one didn't get... I don't know what I can do with this tool yet because I'm just still learning. I want to put that dish someplace I can get to it. I am accumulating a fair amount of paint on the top of the blade. I've got some beautiful cells though. These tools, I will try and teach you guys how to use these tools, make these tools. But I'm still experimenting with prototypes at this point. I, w I don't think I would even mind if somebody else decided that they wanted to make them. I'd love to produce them. Put my name on a, on a tool would be kind of cool. I'm getting the ammonite look that I was after, that I've been after for such a long time. It's not exactly, it's nothing like, <laughs> it's not exactly like what I had in mind the first year. Although looking at it right now, I can pull my little tool through the, the pointed end. I left the, um, the sharp end of the skewer right on the end. Because I thought it might come in handy at some point. Yeah, this might take all of the 20 minutes that I usually, my camera shuts off at 20 minutes. So if you ever wonder what's happening there, that's what's happening. Now, do I need a wider tool yet or is this still working? It seems to be working to me pretty well. And I like pulling those, pulling those little tenderly threads out. I do have a larger tool. You saw that. It may be headed this way shortly. I'm quiet because I'm focused. I kind of want to leave some of the lines in between, but this being my first one, I'm trying to make it up as I go along. I'm definitely getting the pattern I was after completely. I'm not sure that I'm, I'm going to be able to keep much of the black. And I kind of wanted to, but I guess we'll figure it out as we go along. I put a slight curve in that. And I don't dip every time because I don't think I need to. The, the black paint in the background is the Meaden paint, M-E-E-D-E-N. -E 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 it's on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is below my link tree. My link tree is below the video. I think I would have liked some more. You know what? I'm going to add a color. Am I? <laughs> I am if I can lay my hands on it. That's not it. Where'd it go? I don't know where it went. There it is. I got it. I just want... A little tiny bit of this color shifting red orange from folk art because I love how it pops things around it. Not that there isn't plenty of popping going on here because there is, but I'm glad I found that. Why I didn't put some right there, I don't know. I'm almost ready to move on to a larger tool. I think on a larger canvas it would be it would feel less risky. Every once in a while I start to get the colors mixing and I want a wide variety of colors in here.
and I'm not sure, but I think I find my pointed. There it is. My number three spatula. I really, I do kind of miss the black in between, but I'm not complaining very much because I like what I see also. I think I can do, I think if I start with an all black canvas next time, I'll have better luck keeping more of the black. And I can also probably use less paint at that point. I'm going to switch tools. I wish I had one that was intermediate. Let's see, I do. Let's use this one. This one's a new tool. I made it out of a different plastic to try and test it out. This one doesn't have a square front as the others do either. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to... I got two minutes to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you. And that's that I have over 1,900 videos on lists, playlists, and you can find them by going to playlists, all play, playlists, created playlists on my YouTube channel. I think I'm going to go through... and wipe out half of these by going every other one and hope that it, I can hurry without harming the whole the whole scenario that's probably going to be a problem hurrying is never the solution when it comes to this it's already quick enough but I do have quite a few colors already I'm figuring to go back and fill in. I love you guys. There's almost there's almost 93,000 of you today, which means there's probably 93,000 of you by the time this gets published. So I'm just going to go right back again. Look for any places that are missing. I can always fill them in with my finger, or I've probably got, you know, a small one of these. So, what else should I tell you? I have Teespring clothing below the video, and a new venue is uh, the Gallerist. It's on the link tree. The link tree is the first blue link underneath the video. I might put some dots of black in between. I'm running a monthly drawing, and if you, for the people who donate to help keep the studio rolling through PayPal and Patreon, and you can see the prizes included in the exhibition video that's in the last 20 seconds of any video, and if you do make a donation through PayPal or Patreon, whose icons are on the bottom right-hand corner of my YouTube channel banner, you will be automatically entered in that monthly drawing. I would like to finish this. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. So much so. I'm just going to grab some of the paint out of my little scrape dish and try and write that. So there might be some more black in between. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint right now very quickly. And I might make a few tweaky things happen. I have more tools and if I wanted to go through and add lines, I think I probably will. So I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying that was kind of successful. I'm not sure I'm completely done with it yet.